the 23rd of March 1946 and the Empire of Japan is at war with pretty much the rest of the world. The only way towards lasting peace is if we are making sure that everybody recognizes the Emperor as their rightful head of state. Meanwhile, Germany has, un has unleashed unrestricted submarine warfare off the coast of Japan. So uh, we have done some damage to U-41, but um, our, our destroyers uh, haven't managed to actually sink one of, the, one of the submarines, and they have managed to sink two of our convoys. And uh, this, was not a, this was not an isolated incident. The Germans are very busy sinking our convoys off the coast, and it looks like our destroyers are not quite uh, capable of doing an awful lot about it. So the very next thing that we're going to have to do here is we are going to get a couple of naval bomber wings up in the air. And in fact, we do have... So we should be able to... Uh, do some naval strikes off the coast of Japan. We'll put we'll put some more wings up in this uh, in the in an airbase here in the south, just uh, to have a uh, to have a slightly different vector. So let's find some uh, uh, naval bombers. There we got the good old Betty's, and duplicate that until we can no more. There we go. And all of these are going to do naval strikes off the coast. Actually, we can probably get one, two, three uh, to cover this sea region as well with naval strikes. Okay, uh, any more? Um, yeah, the Germans appear, appear. German submarines are very busy around the homelands. So uh, this is something that we're actually going to have to do a little bit about. Let me double check if our destroyer escorts uh, there is actually an ongoing combat and yeah they are sinking the submarines uh, they're sinking the convoys and while our destroyer escorts are busy they are um, uh, they, they seem to be not quite capable of actually catching these submarines let's have a brief look at uh, because I totally can't remember what these um, what these frigates uh, what these frigates were looking like that we were the uh, Shimushu 2 class destroyer escorts. Um, uh, we do have the Type 93 sonar and we do have the modern depth charges in here, so we may have to have a very quick look at our research. Um, anything that we don't really need right now. We could divert the special forces research into better anti-submarine weapons because it looks like uh, the that's active sonar. So we do have the active sonar. Uh, we just might get some better uh, some better depth charges. Honestly, uh, do we have the? No, we don't. Also have the naval XP to speed that up. Anyway, this is going to be one of our one of our next uh, one of our next investigations. Let's see if we can get some, if we can uh, sort this problem out from the air. So we might be able to get some tactical bombers into the air. We might have some old tactical bombers. Uh, tactical bombers one, uh, tactical bombers two. There we go. Uh, we've got plenty of tactical uh, of of uh, outdated tactical bombers that uh, are currently not in. That's too many. Uh, no, these two need to go. There we go. So bring some tactical bombers up. Uh, we've got here. We've got a couple more, sp uh, a bit more space, so we can bring some more tactical bombers up into the air. And there, one hundred. Okay. And we can probably do some older. Yeah, we can do some older wings here as well. So maybe not the incomplete one. There we go. And uh, these should have the range of dealing with any kind of German submarine operations. So get that deleted as well. Okay. So where are they operating? It looks like they are operating all around the Sea of Japan. So we are. We've got the naval bombers covering the coastline. 
and then we're going to get the tactical bombers to uh, to deal with the uh, to deal with the slightly more outlying regions. So let's get these uh, these wings up into naval strikes over the over the Western Pacific, and these can do naval strikes over the Marianas region. Uh, these are naval bombers, they are already deploying, and we've got tactical bombers, which we need to cover the Chinese Sea as well. So these, we're going to get three wings to cover the China Sea, and the other three wings to cover the East China Sea. Yeah, so the, the German submarines have made their way all the way across to the Pacific, but uh, we will strike them from the air, and we will see how much uh, how much is going to be left of these once we're done with them uh, and yes we will have to we will have to uh, to improve our let's double checking that the destroyer escorts are covering these areas yes yes they are covering so we might have to build some slightly better destroyer escorts honestly and we've got one two two newly constructed they can head up into that. I will uh, increase the production of destroyer escorts, these convoy escorts here, and uh, just add another, because we've got the naval dockyards, so is there anything else we could, um, how fast are these, 34 knots, we could bring them up to 40 knots, that might be worth it, so we're going to call this the Shimushu Three class. Okay, and uh, I'm not sure why they have AA. I don't think they need AA. Uh, they do need. They do need to have a gun. So that's something we need to give them. This, they do have the best sonar. Um, I don't know if is is uh, sub detection ten is going. Is radar going to improve the? Uh, the sub detection. Yes, it is. So we're going to give them radar and sonar to make sure that they can uh, detect submarines even when they're on the surface. So that's the Shimushu 3 class. And we're going to give them the best engines that we can possibly find, which isn't great for their reliability, but um, it is what it is. So uh, these will be, uh, yeah, destroyer escorts. Okay, uh, save that, and then we will create a um, create a line with create two lines with that actually. Shimushu uh, three class there, and uh, this line up here. Uh, these will will just create. Well, we'll finish up the last one, and then and then they will uh, they will fall out and uh, drop down here. Okay, so and then we can get these instantly. Uh, can I actually set that up? Never checked. Can I set that up that these are instantly joining? Uh, yes, I can. I can set them up to all join one escort group, which isn't quite what I'm trying to do. So, okay, that isn't... Uh, which fleet is that? This is the... Um, this is the third fleet or something? I can't quite remember what it was supposed to be called. Uh, these are the escort groups, so... Let's see if we can directly directly get them uh, deployed into that fleet. Let's see. Um, so many. <laughs> the, the Imperial Navy is uh, definitely large and vast, but it looks like I can only uh, deploy them into. Okay, we'll we'll do it by hand. So we've got a bunch of naval battles here as well. Let's see what we've sunk. Uh, we are sinking their convoys too, so it's not that they can do an awful lot about that either. And that is uh, another German convoy sunk. We are, these are our submarines uh, being chased by a Spanish task group. Interesting. 
Let's see if any of our, it looks like carrier group three is chasing an Italian task force and carrier group two is docked in Sussex currently. Uh, are you back on strike force? Yes, you are. Okay, so uh, all these ships, uh, Yugomo, Akatsuki, they can all go there. Do we have any ships that we can remove from training already? that are done that need to be elsewhere i've got a lot of destroyers here in reserve but i do have the kaidais and as soon as these are done uh, they can replenish the um, the submarine groups because they have been uh, they have been slightly depleted so let's get five into subron one and we did take some losses there uh, and we need two especially in the north atlantic theater here and two more two more here and then the rest can refill the south southern atlantic theaters and just make sure that these are back up to back up to strength once we get that all done okay uh yeah carrier group three is chasing is chasing something they are re definitely coming back here they are chasing oh there's an italian what are we facing here uh destroyers just a bunch of small bunch of italian destroyers but yeah i would definitely like the um like my carrier groups to be back in action where's carrier group one currently carrier group one is repairing okay and uh, carrier group two is in England, uh, is in the channel as well. I may have to move them to the Mediterranean, but uh, we, I mean, we have sunk the French fleet, so there's not an awful lot of reason not to do so. Um, now we'll leave them here for now, but uh, we might give the, now the first fleet's got, uh, it's got sufficient, sufficient coverage of everything, so that should be okay. They can sally forth from England. What else are we fighting navally at the moment? Uh, we have sinking Swedish convoys. Oh yeah, we're at war with Sweden as well. <laughs> and we have taken out a German task group. Uh, three light cruisers, the Erfurt, Wolfsburg and Osnabrück, nine destroyers and nine convoys. Uh, so at the loss of one zero. So that's, uh, that's been successful. I haven't looked in a in a minute, and uh, a lot of action already going on. This is just uh, destroyer actions, uh, submarine actions that can go away. And we have caught uh, the De Grasse. Oh, and uh, seven seven destroyers. These have been sunk as well. That's probably why we're in port for repairs, because uh, it looks like Osawa has been quite busy. Uh, yeah, these were German submarines that got away. We know that. Uh, seven Spanish convoys have been sunk. That's three Swedish convoys. And I believe that was Battle of Norwegian Sea. Yes, we've done this one. And we have sunk three Italian convoys here as well. Okay. Good, good, good. We've got a couple of unassigned divisions. Um, am I at war with Portugal? I believe I am not. Who am I justifying on right now? <laughs> I am justifying on uh, Ireland. We're almost done there. Do we have troops in place to take uh, to take out Ireland? Probably the answer is yes. These troops should be sufficient. Okay, uh, we are shipping. We are shipping. Uh, we, we are busy currently with the invasion of uh, Normandy. As you can see, you can practically walk from Dover <laughs> over to Dieppe <laughs> and Calais because we are quite busy on the continent. Have we taken an airport? Yes, we believe we have. So uh, we are up against um, a lot of Luftwaffe planes again. How are, the, how are we faring here? Uh, it looks like we're trading favorably so far. So we've got some fighter wings up in the air. A lot of... Uh, no fighting is currently going on here. Um, we are just defending this at this point, but it looks like they're also not interested to push. Uh, we are holding Istanbul. 
uh, there's just too much opposition at this point to uh, to push out. We're just we're just holding the we're just holding the Bosporus. That is quite a, that is kind of important. Uh, can we actually just walk over there? No, we cannot. Okay, so they can stay where they are. Uh, who else are we fighting? We don't really have sufficient troops here in El Alamein to, uh, to do anything but defend, so we'll just leave them there. Uh, we are binding a lot of Italian troops in the south, in Ethiopia. Uh, we could push them, but Ethiopia is terrible terrain. It's all mountainous, and it's no fun to fight in. Although we might just be, with relative ease, able to take uh, to take this region here because uh, they are pretty weak. And while it is mountain, uh, this Italian tank division, we should be able to just push them back. And uh, maybe we'll break out into Africa at some point, but supply is going to be terrible here. So I'm not quite certain that I want to deal with that. Uh, our supply hubs here are over overloaded, which is unfortunate. So we do need to uh, we do need to improve that. Uh, this supply hub needs to have its uh, bottlenecks upgraded. So all these railway constructions uh, need to be prioritized right now. There we go. We're also still dealing with some uh, still dealing with some logistics bombing in in Turkey. Apparently, the, uh, the air war here is still pretty busy. Uh, over Greece, we were fighting last. No, actually, it looks like the Luftwaffe has no. Uh, there we are. So the as a major air battle going on over Greece, where our um, our fighters are. Uh, are battling battling it out against uh, against uh, yeah the Luftwaffe the Italians Romanians Hungarians and the Swedes and Spain so uh, with all these uh, with all these things in the air it can can get quite confusing at some points to see who is fighting whom he, here we are pretty much underrepresented and we're taking pretty horrifying losses to be honest uh, there's no war going on on the ground so i'm very tempted to just ground these there's no reason for these to be uh, let's ground these forces for now um, i'm not going to pull them off the front line uh, we'll just we'll just ground them for now i'm not going to pull them off the front lines just yet uh, these are just training forces not going to pull them off the front lines, but um, there's no actual fighting going on here, so there's no real reason for these forces to be uh, to be engaged at this point. And we'll literally just uh, keep them on the ground for a bit uh, in case things will happen. Where are we? And yeah, the game is, is struggling to render my my air zones. Um, we're fought fighting in the Caucasus region here. Uh, what are these? Close air support, close air support, close air support, and tactical bombers. Um, they have ground support, uh, but there's nothing really going on here. So I may as well just stop that for now as well. There's no reason to uh, to battle the Germans in the air if they are not doing anything on the ground. How does this look at the front lines? Uh, it looks like we are holding. Yeah, we we have captured we have captured uh, parts of Siberia. I want to finish the war in France, and then we will probably start a push with the tank divisions. That also gives them time to replenish, because they're still short a couple of tanks. That gives them time to replenish those as well. Okay, so that's all under control. We're holding everywhere here. I think uh, uh, we have uh, we have a lot of uh, troops in here, actually. Um, I'm not sure if they're trying to break out. I don't think we'll just dig in here and hold that for now. And we are we are pulling we're pulling uh, we're pulling some armies off there. It looks like uh, there's a light cruiser division, two light cru cruiser divisions on the sea here. Not sure what they're planning, but um, we'll eventually uh, one of my carrier groups is going to catch them. And have we? taken all the islands i believe we have so yeah there's no more real there's nothing really happening anymore here uh this is just a that island can stay i don't care <laughs> uh 
Uh, these troops are all moving towards the fallback line. Yeah, I've left the homeland defense in South in South America just in case we need some troops anywhere in the region. And other than that, that should be should be all right. Okay, so the big fight at the moment is happening pretty much here. So let's see, what do we have on the ground? We've currently got the fourth on the ground, which are probably more or less just holding at this point. So let's get this. The last thing I need to check, uh, what are our operatives up to? Um, we are building Intel networks. He's in Germany. Um, He's in Italy, and he is in uh, in uh, Bulgaria, legionary Bulgaria. And that's all right. That's not a terrible place to be. Any operations that we can start? Uh, any infiltration? Um, we could plant some false intelligence against the Italians. Uh, resistance contacts, not quite that interesting. What do we know about the Germans? Let's have a look and see what we know, uh, what we know about their army. Uh, so most of their army, uh, con uh, or the vast swathes of their army, are actually infantry infantry battalions. So uh, nine infantry and three artillery. This should be probably pretty punchy, but uh, they will they they will struggle if they don't have any. They do have engineers, support artillery, and support AA. But I don't think they can penetrate our tanks with that. So they might actually be pretty vulnerable to tanks. They do have 11, uh, 11 tank divisions, so, which are four motorized infantry and five medium tanks. I don't think they will be a big problem for our tanks. A uh, couple, uh, couple of slightly different uh, designs. They've got a couple of mountain divisions. Uh, but none of these tank divisions is particularly large or particularly scary, to be honest, because I think our our medium tanks are probably better than that. Uh, they do have not an awful lot left navally. They do have a fair amount of the 1934A class, Zerstörer, so destroyers. Uh, they have five Admiral Hipper class heavy cruisers still busy. A uh, fair amount of life, li uh, light cruisers, 20 Leipzig class, and 78 submarines. So the submarines is what we will, we will be dealing with. The Luftwaffe has uh, 11,000 fighters up in the air. So there's a fair amount of that. We'll see how well that, uh, how well we are going to be able to uh, to sort that out. Anyway, all right, let's get to uh, movements on the ground. And I think we are still in the middle of landing operations here. Yeah, the tanks are currently landing. So let's unpause this and uh, see how f see, see where else we can push them, actually. We might be able to... No, we don't have sufficient forces here. Uh, we might... Once the tanks are landed... Um, oh, we have, we have managed to cut them off here to a degree. Okay, hang on. Uh, we shot down... Who did we shoot, who did we shoot down? Uh, German, a German ace. Okay. Oh, we're producing something outdated. What are we producing that's outdated? Uh, oh, the B5Ns? Are they outdated? Did I research a better one? Oh, hang on. Where are they? Uh, d -d -d Do we have something better here? Um, oh, we've got, an, we've got a better naval bomber. I didn't even pay attention. Let's... Uh, Let's get that. Let's get that under under control. Uh, better engines. How much? Oh, that's about as much as we can do. So there. And then the G4Ms, and then we can change this to these. Okay, better naval bombers. Done. I don't need convoy and convoy things. Uh, we are we have cut off a bunch of uh, a bunch of French divisions here, so let's leave. Uh, I'm not sure why we have. Yeah, we need to we need to uh, we need to make sure we're holding that. Let's le let's leave one division here, and uh, just move these three divisions up and uh, clear clear out this uh, clear out this and take the port of Brest. That's gonna let them. Uh, and that's going to. Uh, sort out there. It's going to sort out uh, some of their the Atlantic operations as well. Okay, uh, where are we pushing here? Okay, uh, that is 
probably decent. Yeah, we'll we'll let the we'll re we'll have to reorganize the uh, the front lines here in a second once everyone has landed. And uh, I just want to take the the opportunity as it um, as it present presents itself before before too many tr uh, enemy troops have um, are are in place. Uh, we want to not lose our momentum. And, but the troops that are coming fresh of the fresh of the transports need to need to actually uh, sort that out, sort themselves out as well. Okay, we're gonna delete the front lines of the fourth uh, mostly. Uh, that front lines, these front lines are a bit scraggy. Okay, we've got uh, twenty four divisions of the which one is this sixth, I believe. Uh, the sixth army is it sixth army? Uh, these would be. Hang on. Uh, this is all fourth army, uh, eighth army. Sorry, not sixth. Eighth army. So the eighth army are the tank forces. So we'll we'll push. We'll use these to push towards Paris. Uh, we'll have the. Uh, we also have the the eleventh. The eleventh can can hold can create a front line to uh, just hold the rest of the southern end there. And uh, the fourth, I am I am almost tempted because we have naval supremacy. I'm almost tempted once we've taken Brest to send the fourth and uh, and invade in uh, La Rochelle, and then see if we can if we can create if we can create a, another front here. We can link up. Uh, we might be able to then push south towards Paris with the tanks, link them up, and um, and get that all going. But first, we also need to give the 11th a, uh, an offensive line. So the 11th is meant to push south eventually. Uh, we've got that sorted. Okay. Uh, everybody else got their marching orders. All right. And we're, we're just getting troops into position. Right now, the 4th are just holding. So let's, let's get that going. Okay. Uh, just keeping an eye if there are any, any naval invasions that I need to worry about. <laughs> not not that I missed that again. We've got more naval battles. Um, they've sunk another five convoys, but we haven't managed to catch any of the um, submarines. A lot of ships were actually <laughs> coming to assist, but the submarines are uh, remaining elusive, but not so much from the air. So that's U-32 done. Uh, any other Any other successes so far? Uh, yeah, our destroyers are hunting them, but um, but it's uh, they, they are not quite successful in uh, in catching these German submarines. Uh, let's see, our, our air force should be able to deal with that relatively easily. Okay, no more fighting going on in Europe, and we are pushing on the ground here. So, okay, let's keep doing that then. Another ace pilot. Yeah, this uh, this is just a mop-up operation. I'm just waiting. How's it look supply-wise here? Actually, uh, I think we the ports are pretty well equipped. Yeah, they are pretty well equipped. So uh, we should be okay supply-wise. We just have to wait for the troops to uh, to organize themselves after disembarking from the transports and getting themselves sorted out. Uh, why are we not only having seven divisions on this? I want the I want the whole 11th on this, please. 24 divisions. Uh, except you guys, you stay there. <laughs> because you have to deal with Ireland. All right. Uh, do we need as additional troops? How many, how many divisions do the Irish have? Uh, we don't know an awful lot. 2 to 10. Eh, they're probably terrible. It will be fine. So everybody else... Um, Gets gets into France. Okay, so that's uh, that's going on. Yeah, we were just waiting for these troops here to sort themselves out, and then we'll pull the we'll pull the fourth off. Another naval battle. Yeah, we've lost more convoys. We are losing a lot of convoys, but uh, we've got we've got convoys up the wazoo, really. So that's not necessarily an issue. I'm just not particularly happy about it. Uh, what are our what are our um, what are our losses actually? Uh, all countries, current month. So uh, we have s uh, the Germans have lost seven submarines, 
three cruisers, nine uh, destroyers, and 227 convoys against 92 on our side. So we're still doing a lot more than they are, but uh, yeah, the, uh, the, the submarine arm is somewhat effective. Okay, everybody moving into position here around Amiens, and then we will start the push towards Paris. Uh, probably, yeah, we'll just uh, start the push with the tank divisions there. That's another convoy gone. Uh, that's m another convoy on our side gone, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not going to look at every single at every single uh, every single battle result here, but um, because most of them are just going to be convoy raids, I'm more curious to see if the air, if the air force is going to manage something here. Okay, I would say uh, most of the troops are in position. So where are we going to? Uh, where are we? We don't want to leave them too much time to dig in, so I believe we can start actually planning this offensive. Uh, let's get the... Uh, let's get uh, these, except you. The mobile troops here. What do we have? No. I want the two motorized and the tank division. Uh, you push towards Orléans. And uh, we've got motorized and a tank division here. You push, uh, you just push towards uh, Paris. Uh, you support the push towards Paris. Uh, you actually, uh, these two tank divisions, I'm gonna try and do a little bit of an encirclement here and see if I can push around uh, these troops and then break through to uh, Dunkirk and see if we can cut some of them off. Uh, we already start with the motorized divisions because this is all flat territory so we should be relatively quick in doing that all right uh, let's get these un operations underway the uh, infantry can support uh, when when present and the fourth army can, we, we will be pulled off uh, will be pulled off soon so oh and uh, that's that's done um yeah i'm just gonna uh, declare war on ireland conquer that and give these guys um that's 11th right uh yeah these are 11th so uh we're just gonna just gonna get that order going and see if they can they can conquer that i'll leave them to it uh i i do want to i do want to observe the, the battles i'll join the axis no surprise here uh they can actually penetrate our tanks so this is uh this is interesting and these are modern tanks so um how is it looking in the air here okay we've got red air over northern france that is no good why are we having red air over northern france i thought we are um we're running air superiority uh oh that's western france okay you go over to northern france and uh, we're just fighting air superiority right now and the others are are busy over Western France, where we are facing an cr a crazy, a crazy uh, amount of. Um, actually, let's redirect our air efforts over, over to uh, northern France. There's really no reason not to. Um, these are fighter wings, actually. Uh, uh, they can, f uh, they they can fight it out over Western France, but the the ground support we're we're not really fighting here, so uh, we'll redirect that. Uh, let's see if we can get through here. It looks like uh, the resistance is uh, falling relatively quickly, and it looks like we're almost in Paris. Uh, yep. Once our tanks are actually in position. And yeah, here uh, we are. Uh, we are being attacked. We, we are being counterattacked by, but. Um, Spain is decrypted. Yeah, uh, some of these French divisions actually managed to pierce the the armor here. That is quite surprising because uh, these are relatively well armored. Um, naval battle results. Uh, we've seen this one. I'm just looking if we if we managed to catch any of their task forces, honestly. But uh, this is more just these are more just convoy radar results. Uh, where are my Carrier Group 2 is still intercepting... Where are you? Oh, here. 
uh, is intercepting this little Spanish division here. Uh, so these these light cruisers and destroyers who are chasing our submarines. So Osawa, uh, Osawa might be able to make short work of those. And Carrier Group 3 is still chasing around the world after, uh, I believe, after these German light cruisers at the moment. So we can leave them to that, to that business. Uh, we do have to, we do have to keep an eye here. Uh, we might be able to just, um, let's see. Okay, these are still pushing towards Orléans. And here we've almost cleared it out, yeah. And then once we've done that, we can move the, the fourth off. I think Paris is about to fall. Yeah, Paris has been taken. So right now we'll just hold that. Uh, let the infantry catch up. Uh, we are we are trying to create uh, a little pocket here around Calais. And uh, everybody else getting into position. Yeah, Paris has been taken. And... We are about to take Orléans, but then our divisions need to need to take a short break <laughs> and recover some of their organization. They are getting counterattacked, so the infantry is going to have to is going to have to catch up. I might send the motorized back just to um, uh, just to make sure that they can defend. Uh, the tank divisions should be able to break through this by themselves. Okay, we have encircled the troops around Dunkirk, so we're gonna use the divisions of the fourth to push towards Calais. And uh, we're gonna use these, uh, one of these tank divisions to just um, wipe them out here as well, as well as that motorized division can attack here. And these four can attack here as well, and then we'll wipe them out from there. Okay, so that's, th that's going and that's going on. Once we've wiped we've wiped out these troops here that have been encircled around the coastline. Uh, we are still trying to take Orléans. And I think we have taken Orléans. So, um, yes, we have taken Orléans. Uh, but uh, our tanks are... Uh, our tanks are not are not great at defending. We are going to need some infantry to, uh, to manage to actually hold Orléans. Let's see. We can get there in time to... Yep, yeah, it looks like we can get there in time to hold Orléans. We let the tanks recover. And then we will... Uh, we will... We will uh, try to encircle this... Uh, try to encircle more troops here. We have two tank divisions here who can... Uh, in, in Paris, we do need infantry over here. Uh, we have another tank division that I would actually... Rather use here. Let's see if we can push through here. And we'll leave one tank division in Paris to, to defend in case it becomes necessary. Can we break through here if we count if we attack from both sides? Possibly. And that would be another couple of divisions uh, encircled. Uh, let's. Uh, we do have to hold Dunkirk here, but let's. Uh, Let's make sure that we wipe out these these divisions. How many are we facing here? Uh, eight divisions. And let's make sure that we wipe these out uh, across here. Let's get the tanks involved as well here. And the motorized just to make sure that that happens. Okay, once that's done... All right, we've taken Brest as well. So I am going to give the fourth now uh, a... Uh, fallback line here. We do have taken we have taken another airport, so we can start moving these uh, fighter wings south. And um, we do have uh, these are tactical bombers. These are eight fighter wings. Have we taken another airport? Yes, we have taken a bunch of airports actually. Uh, Paris should have an airport. I'm not sure I'm seeing it, but we have taken an airport in Calais, so we can move the. Uh, we can move the fighters south and get them to be a little bit more effective. Okay, uh, how are things looking in Ireland? Uh, yeah, they'll figure it out. It's a it's a minor theater. Just a brief look if anyone else is attacking us anywhere, or are we just holding on these fronts? I believe we are just holding on these fronts. There's not an awful lot going on here, so uh, again, no reason to no reason to fight people. All right, uh, we, we're still clear, cl clearing up this encirclement here. 
And did I give the fourth the yeah I gave the fourth the um, fallback the fallback order over there and we are already going to start with the naval divisions that are here so one two three four five start planning a naval invasion from uh, Brest to La Rochelle and I want five divisions assigned to that okay all right uh, we have cleared this uh, encirclement uh, where can we break through? There's a lot of divisions on the ground here, but I need my tanks to be somewhat concentrated towards breakthroughs. Uh, we might just um, uh, we might just uh, shorten the front line a little, or we are mm -hmm. there, there are some there's some German Panzer divi uh, divisions here for a 15th Panzer division. I'd like to get these gone as well. Uh, let's focus here first and see if we can. Uh, if we can break through here and uh, let the front line stabilize and we'll get everybody into position. And that'll cut off uh, the 23rd Panzer Division, if we can break through here, that is. Uh, and I'm going to get some more assistance into here. Why are we struggling against Rommel? Uh, because it's Rommel, but also because they have the uh, they have the superiority in the air. We might need some more planes over here. Uh, we do have fighters. I believe we have tactical bomber wings over the over the air zone as well. Oh, there's a lot of... Se okay, they are concentrating extremely heavily at this point. Okay, I will, given that there's nothing going on on the eastern front, I will start bringing uh, more, more fighter wings over. Uh, because we do need to contest them. So... Uh, these are all jet fighter wings. Uh, how much how much space do I have in the air bases in northern France? I have how many more wings can I bring over? We haven't taken the airport of Paris, but we can still bring 12 wings over to um, to Calais. So uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven. Do I have another fighter wing? No. Uh, this is a fighter wing. Okay, twelve. So let's bring these over to Calais and uh, give them air superiority over northern France as well. Uh, let's see if we can manage to break through here despite um, despite the uh, the German air power because uh, these are uh, these are tank uh, we are facing um, just infantry divisions they are they have a panzer division in reserve but um, I'm not sure okay we have taken it we have pushed them out we have taken it so the tanks are rolling over. And that should encircle these, uh, encircle the uh, 23rd Panzer Division, which means they are. I'm not sure what, where everybody is going right now, but uh, that means they should be. Uh, they, yeah, they, they should be cut off in a second, once the the tanks have made their. Oh nope, they've reinforced. They're reinforcing furiously. And uh, again, the problem comes out of the. Uh, the problem comes out of the out of the air. Uh, under different commanders, but it's only one it's only one divi one French division. We should be able to take that relatively easily. And uh, the next strategic objective is probably to secure the uh, the um, the airport around Paris. Uh, we we're going to have to re re reorganize. Yes, we have taken them. So uh, please ensure that this gets destroyed these uh, five divisions and then we will relocate the um, we will relocate the panzers uh, <laughs> the, the tank division divisions such that we can probably push it st uh, trying another uh, having another go at Orléans and um, uh, yeah let's let's see if we can take if we can take uh, Orléans uh, off them with the one with one tank division here uh, assist here please just want to get that cleared out uh, because this is, uh, we don't want to go across the bridges with the tanks. That is generally considered a terrible idea. With some support, maybe. Uh, three divisions. We are f uh, fighting German infantry divisions, which are quite powerful. But I, th I would say our tank divisions are stronger regardless. And yeah, we are starting to carve up some, some of their... Some of their tank divisions here in the north that'll severely reduce the amount of. Uh, let's see if we can push them out from here. Uh, reduce the amount of. Um, just to shorten the front line a bit. 
reduce the amount of uh, mobi flexibility that they have. And uh, if we can take Orléans, then let's try to uh, connect to the airport as well and see if we can make that happen. Okay, elsewhere, uh, the let's get the naval invasion in La Rochelle go, going with the fourth and get that on the way. And then uh, we'll, we'll bring the whole fourth army south which is going to be a bit of a surprise for them. Okay, we are facing uh, French tanks at this point, but uh, they're still in, they're still in, um, uh, they're still in reserves. So let's see. Uh, we are take, we are being counterattacked, and I think we have managed to defeat them in Orléans, but uh, they are, they are definitely. They're definitely counter-attacking at this point, quite heavily. And our tank divisions are not particularly good at, at holding fronts. <laughs> They're good at taking fronts, but not at holding them. Uh, we might need some reinforcements here. Uh, yeah, because we are getting... We are, in fact, actually getting pushed back here. So we'll, we'll abandon this offensive. And... Um, and try to bring in some reinforcements here to see if we can push. I think the big problem here is air, yes. So the Luftwaffe is extremely concentrating in this area. We have um, we have the we do have another airport here, but that's not under our control yet. Yeah, uh, the airports are a strategic objective. Okay, we are landing in La Rochelle, but we are up against a. Oh, we are up against a fair amount of defense here. Seven divisions under Kesselring. Uh, but these are not German divisions. They're nowhere near as powerful. So uh, definitely not uh, a concern. Anything going on on the Eastern Front? Still quiet on the Eastern Front. But uh, yeah, fa uh, Holding, t pushing towards Orléans is proving to be uh, harder than we thought. We do need to, we do need to contest uh, the air here more, and we, we just don't have the amount of air. F we just don't have the airfields to bring more of our, uh, more of our aircraft in. So right now we will we'll just probably be defensive uh, along the lines. Uh, they are pushing us pretty hard around Lille as well, uh, from with von Manstein. So uh, that's, yeah, we, we are, we're just getting hammered from the air at this point. Uh, we are going to, we're going to dig in here for now and wait for the, uh, which one's the eighth. So the eighth is going to dig in. We're going to delete that offensive order and create a new offensive order for the eighth. No, I didn't want to delete your whole front line. Uh, that's not what I had in mind. Okay, so that's your front line in northern France. Um, you, we are planning to push... Uh, where are we planning to push? Uh, around here, that line pretty much. So let's get that organized. And uh, I think, yeah, they, they have pushed us back somewhat. Uh, we've definitely lost ground around Orléans. So we're going to go on the, on the defensive here for now. Until uh, until we have uh, until we have things sorted out, they are also counterattacking counterattacking uh, along the Eleventh Army, but uh, they are they should be pretty well d dug in, and yeah, they have uh, they have no problems uh, dealing with the German pans uh, German Panzers. Um, we've got a couple of decisions available. It's probably war propaganda. I'm not interested in that. No. No, not interested. My war support is 100%. There's no need to do that. Anything interesting uh, around the home islands? Uh, that's just transport losses again. Uh, we've sunk three submarines from the air. Uh, that's promising. And uh, that's another one submarine. Yeah, so, so uh, as, as historically accurate, from the air, the submarines are vulnerable. Uh, where are they operating at this point? Um, not sure, but we are definitely, our tactical bombers are catching them as well. And 
sometimes they don't manage to they only manage to damage them but uh, that's our own submarines that's our own submarines okay but uh, things happen we do we are still losing transports oh uh, u15 has actually been sunk by uh, oh by, by airstrikes yes so yeah the destroyer the destroyers are unfortunately not as effective as they should have been but uh, from the air uh, we are dealing with the submarines quite effectively and we are obviously sinking sinking things left right and center uh, okay have we i think we have managed to take la rochelle yes so that's a um, that's a good move let's see if we can shorten the front line here while we're digging in and uh, yes we have taken la rochelle so we're going to get the whole uh, the whole fourth army now engaged on that front line and we can delete that we do have the naval supremacy to make this happen so right now the order is to defend la rochelle and then uh, the fourth will break out and try to reach uh, try to reach the um, the river uh, around uh, Vichy and see uh, see if we can uh, they actually have a, have moved their capital to Bordeaux how far along are they towards capitulation uh, still still a fair still a fair bits away so they are attacking us across the whole front and they actually have put managed to push us out of Lille so um, the big yeah the big problem here is probably the air because they do have air super aerial superiority so uh, once we get that uh, unfortunately to get that sorted out western france is not too bad but um, here we are severely struggling and we're probably taking pretty horrendous losses yes we are pretty t taking pretty severe losses um, but we do have to uh, do we have any air capacity here uh, we have uh, this airport is pretty much at capacity operating at capacity uh, this one could take two more wings probably let's see if we can find two more fighter wings that we can move over how's it looking over greece uh yes we're we're just but there's, there's nothing actually going on so we, we're, right now we're, we're just um coming to blows here but let's move two two of these uh, two of these wings over here and get them operational here as well yeah we just don't have the airport capacity let's see if we can improve the airports a little uh, can we build up the air bases here yes so build up we can get an air base going here and here let's get prioritize that so that we can get these air that we get more capacity to move our air force uh, to move our air force more effectively because we are and and it looks like we are actually struggling along this front here so uh, they are pushing a lot of troops in and um, it might be that the okay ace pilot's been promoted that's nice it might be that the uh, that the eighth is not able to hold this so how does it look around La Rochelle? We can start breaking out. Um, let's move one division here, one division here, and one division here, and one division there. And the rest of the the rest of the fourth is on the way. So that should be some relief. Uh, how does it look in Ireland? Um, yeah, they're getting there slowly. I could really do with those divisions over here. We are uh, we are getting the um, we are getting the seventh in, so we may have to um, uh, we have to reinforce this here. We may have to uh, to send an additional uh, to send an additional army uh, army in to hold to hold here. We do have to hold the uh, the airport in Calais uh, on, for obvious reasons, but. Um, we are getting we are getting pushed pretty hard by by the Germans, so they're definitely focusing here. Uh, okay. But uh, all these defenses so far seem to be pretty much holding, and uh, we'll see how much the fourth is going to get done with this breakout around La Rochelle. So let's see. Um, 
we are struggling to to push these divisions out here mm. but the defense seems to be pretty much holding at this point with pretty strong opposition um, with str pretty strong opposition in in all areas uh, we m can we oh, we can assist with this attack from here I just want to shorten the front line here a little that would be great uh, uh, the biggest problem like I said is is air because we are we are fi fighting under under enemy f uh, under enemy air superiority which is not ideal okay more troops landing in uh, La Rochelle and that should give us some flexibility from the south okay As long as we're holding Calais, because that's one of the major airports here. Um, we do have to reinforce here. To make sure that we've got sufficient troops on the front lines. Just to make sure that we're... Okay. That that shortening should, should hopefully help a little bit. And it would be really nice if they could stop moving around so much as well. Uh, local division commanders, what are you doing? Okay. So now, please dig in. So sort out your your divisions please dig in and um, and hold the line for now while we are landing troops in La Rochelle to uh, to relieve to relieve you uh, we might be able to push these Spanish divisions north actually and see if we can hold actually we can hold at the river that would be amazing that stretches us a little bit and uh, I am sort of concerned with this uh, with this Panzer division the 116th here but we are getting reinforcements, yep. And once the reinforcements are, um, once the reinforcements are, uh, let's see if we can, if we can, uh, we can push them out. Actually, um, that might actually work. Can we get? Uh, the problem is that none of these divisions are organized. They're just fresh off the boats, so it's all going to be relatively chaotic. Okay, that attack may or may not succeed. Uh, no, we're just gonna have to stay on the defense here. Let's get some. Uh, let's see if we can get some of the fresh divisions in to make this happen. And assist this attack here. It'd be nice if we could break through here. That would be quite neat. Uh, we're shooting down German aces, which is good as well. How's, how's the defense around Calais look? Uh, it seems to have somewhat solidified. Uh, what's our air situation? Terrible. <laughs> we are facing an extremely large amount of planes and we just don't have the airport capa uh, capacity to do an awful lot about it. And we are obviously taking pretty horrendous losses. Um, we have space for another three air wings here. So let's pull some out of the uh, out of the theater here. Um, one, two, three fighter wings. I think I'm going to go for interception at this point. So let's get these into Western France. We'll switch to interception, uh, which isn't going to help with air superiority, but we just don't have the numbers at the moment to do that. So um, this will help against bombing and pre somewhat preserve our strength and uh, we will we will keep supporting from across the channel with air raids but uh, okay that defense there looks looks sketchy but i've got a couple more troops here that may be able to um to push rommel out of his position here although we cannot we cannot break the panzer division with the um with the uh, naval troops that's why we're struggling so much here um let's see if we can move south here uh we are going to need to counter attack here if possible and see if we can push them uh, push them back back towards the river uh, but the defenses are the defenses are holding it's not greatly defensible territory but so far the defenses are holding against all these attacks and uh, we will see if we can Ideally, we've, we'd manage to uh, a breakthrough from both directions uh, around either Orléans or Tours, and we are have we are bringing the whole fourth army in now. So uh, they, that should we should be able to push them towards the river. 
if possible. And then uh, dig in defensively and see if we can uh, if we can cut if we can cut the, off this complete front line. Uh, unfortunately, for that to happen, we actually have to not lose here. Polish-Romanian alliance. What? Hang on a minute. Poland. That bit of Poland. The Germans still haven't managed to. <laughs> okay. Okay, Germany. You do you. Uh, no no fighting going on around the eastern front we're just binding troops there at this point but the uh the battle obviously is happening around france and um, hopefully our losses which are pretty horrendous uh, are going to get a little better uh once we are uh, now now that we're only fighting uh now that we're only fighting on um, on interception but of course, we're not going to get air superiority, so any kind of offensive actions are going to be very difficult. Okay, we have taken, uh, we have taken this, we have taken this province here. Now we just have to wait, uh, weather the counterattacks, and uh, let the fourth dig in somewhat. Uh, they are pushing us, trying to push us back really hard, but they do have to uh, push over the river. Because now we have taken this province, so um, see if we can push these Romanians out of here. We have more troops coming in in La Rochelle, and uh, yeah, I am going. I, I did have plans to invade Norway uh, with the mountain troops and take over Scandinavia, but I think I'm going to get the uh, Seventh Army involved in. Um, in France. Uh, they are mostly mountaineers, which is really not ideal. <laughs> yeah, that, that's... We, we, we might be able to just use the um, the regular troops and give them... Uh, let's get them to reinforce the front line around Dunkirk, because that's currently my worry. So let's get these five divisions over there. And then we're going to see if we can land... Um, we are going to need... I mean, they're mountain divisions, but um, I wonder if we can land in um, in Norway. Uh, Oslo might be defended, but we might be able to take um, uh, Stavanger from here. So let's see if we can make that happen. Let's get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, eight divisions. For a naval invasion, they're not ideal for naval invasions, but uh, from here to uh, there. Uh, get them assigned. And uh, we'll see if uh, we can open a front in Norway. Okay, the fourth has landed. And the fourth has landed. And now the interesting question is, can we, uh, can we hold... Can we, can we hold around La Rochelle here, and uh, can we can we manage to cut these troops off under enemy under enemy air force? Uh, we are this close to we're very close to the airport. Unfortunately, it's not a position that we can easily attack because it goes across the rivers. Why are we attacking here? Nobody said anything about attacking here. Um, just hold these positions. Uh, we are losing some of our ace pilots as well, so the air battle here over France is, is absolutely is, is absolutely massive. Uh, we might be able to um, counterattack towards Tour. Uh, support that attack. Let's see if that works. Uh, these are Rommel's troops here, and there's a tank division. So uh, no, that's probably not going to work. Uh, just uh, just dig in for now and we are definitely we're getting pushed back here and again our tanks are needlessly counter-attacking no one told you to do that just dig in uh, dig in and um, and defend this line for now because we we're waiting for some reinforcements to come in that that will help hold this line but we do not want to lose Calais if possible because that is one of the major air bases in the region so we might have the f we might have the forces here to um, to attack actually. 
Uh, it's got one one division not to stop the attack and just assist. And see if we can we can gain some momentum and push towards Tour. Uh, yeah, it does not look too great in the north. Uh, let's see if we can counter attack here. That would be nice. So this is not a defensive army, so they, they do need um, and it's not one of my most modern armies either, so they do need some they do need some assistance uh, from from just infantry on the ground. Let's have a very quick look if there's anything interesting uh, interesting from the naval battles. Uh, we have sunk six uh, Finnish destroyers by the looks of it. And that was it already. How does it look around the home front? Have we managed to sink some submarines? I would say that's a positive. Um, these have gotten away. That's a submarine down. It's a submarine down. Yeah, we, we are sinking. Uh, we are reducing. We are whittling down their numbers uh, pretty effectively uh, with these airstrikes. So hopefully our convoy losses here are are going to be are going to be reduced. Uh, and yeah, we have a we have a fair number of planes in the air. They're not uh, experienced pilots, but they don't have to deal with any opposition. They just have to uh, sink submarines. <laughs> that should not be a that should not be a huge issue. Okay. Um, once that is uh, two out of twenty eight days. Okay, we still have to wait a little bit until they've planned their invasion. Let's see if we can make this push to two. This is not what the uh, what these troops are necessarily good for, because these are marines. But um, we might be able to. Okay, electric torpedo research has been finished. Uh, there was something I did want to research. Yes, uh, better depth charge. Uh, spent 50 to make that happen. Yeah, let's get better depth charges so our destroyers might actually become effective once again. Um, we are we are very defensive here, and for some reason the troops are re are um, are moving a lot on the ground. Not something I'm particularly keen on. Can we get through here? It's it's these tank divisions that are really difficult to break. But it would be nice if we could. Unfortunately, the marines are not equipped for that sort of operation. Um, but breaking through towards Tool would be great if we could, because then we just need to um, we just need to push them from the north. Uh, okay, so this attack is faltering. Oh, that's because we are pushing across a river. So the tanks themselves cannot sustain that necessarily. And this, uh, yeah, okay, abandon this attack uh, for now. Stop this. Uh, just defend here. Tanks are not good at defending either. <laughs> but uh, can we get through? Can we get through in the south? It maybe, maybe not. Um, it looks like it looks more like. Uh, it's still positive. The Germans are going to take casualties, but uh, we are not. Uh, our casualties are increasing as well. So uh, it's definitely. And yeah, the air. We have green air over Western France, but um, Northern France is where it's difficult. Uh, and our our fighter losses are monstrous in the in the area. So uh, the, definitely the Luftwaffe is the superior air force. That's we will have to give them that. Um, how are we on improving these airports? Yeah, we're we're getting there. Uh, I'm definitely keen to concentrate the whole Japanese Air Force on that area. Uh, let's get these involved as well. These have these might have a bit more offensive power. And see if we can push towards Tour. Other than that, we'll just be holding uh, anywhere. We might be able to uh, take on these these minor troops here and um, and capture Bordeaux. That would be nice. Uh, let's see if that happens. Okay, we are attacking Tour at this point. If we can manage to capture Tour, and we do need to leave one division behind <laughs> to 
to actually defend this. If we can capture two, then um, uh, doesn't look like it. I think that's uh, that's one bridge too far. Okay, let's. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's happening. Let's uh, concentrate on defense for now, and see if we can counterattack at some point. But I would be once the uh, there come the divisions from the seventh. Once these divisions have landed. Uh, I would be keen to um, I would be keen to uh, start uh, an offensive operation. Okay, we we do need to make sure that we're not getting pushed back on this line though. So these divisions need to need to dig in here first, and they are counterattacking us quite a fair bit. Uh, we have two tank divisions here. We should be able to break through on this side. Um, let's see if we can make an offensive happen here and push towards the river that would be kind of nice let's see if we can support this offensive uh, unfortunately uh, our tanks here i think these are these are um, older uh, older medium tanks they are not quite as well armored as the as the modern tanks that we have in the east um, let's just have a quick look any naval engagements that need to be now this is all small stuff um, and yeah, we are we keep sinking German submarines. How does the German Navy look like at this point? The uh, German Navy uh, In terms of submarines, yeah, they have lost already half the Kriegsmarine has lost half of their submarines So that threat is about to to be ended uh, The problem obviously is the fight here and we need to bring more we need to bring more fighters in honestly uh, do we have radar in this area? Uh, we do have no radar stations in the area, so that's another thing that we need to rectify. Um, we do have the now nah, we do have the British radar stations. They they should be able to cover this pretty easily. Okay, not something we need to rectify right now. All right, I'm not sure we're going to be able to uh, to to take two, but we might be able to uh, to get to the river here. Is pilot promoted and can we can we take a uh, Bordeaux that would be a nice that would be a nice uh, would be a nice victory if we can take Bordeaux we are getting a little stretched here along this line now and I would have liked to have more troops available okay I'm gonna get some more troops north and see if we can mount a second attack towards Two? Nah, not gonna happen. Uh, they've got two tank divisions there. They were not breaking that that easily. Uh, we could, however, already try to counterattack um, here. That might be interesting. Uh, let's let's see if if we can make this happen with these infantry divisions. Uh, no, not happen. Yeah, two divisions are not gonna break that. Uh, we do need we do need some tank divisions to break that. Okay, we have taken uh, we have managed to get to the river here. So if we can, uh, if we can, and we have taken Bordeaux. How far are the French towards capitulation? Uh, not yet. We keep taking their capitals, but we do need to we do need to link up here. So the interesting question is. Do we have uh, troops here now that are defending? Yes, so most of the troops here... Where are you moving again? Stay here. We want this tank division um, over here. And try to... We need to try and take... And, and link up our troops. I don't think we can manage to take two from the south, but we might be able to, to link up regardless if we can push them far enough. So I am gonna need some. I am gonna need some support here, and see if we can make that happen. So where can we pull some tank divisions off the front line where they're not needed? There are two tank divisions here. Uh, move over here and then try to push. Concentrated push with the tanks, please. Uh, despite enemy, despite enemy air superiority, infantry digging in should be able to hold this. So, uh, should being the big, big term here. Uh, this is a relatively slender salient that we're building here, so 
Um, they are going to furiously attack this. And we do have to be careful not to be cut off in the north here. So I do have to kind of keep... This is a very, this is a very slim line. We do have supply ports, so that's not so much of an issue. But um, uh, the fourth is getting a little stretched now. So being able to cut off these troops around tour here would be amazing. Okay, better infantry equipment. Uh, we are finishing up the infantry researches here. Um, we're done everywhere else pretty much. I might be just researching some better naval techs. We could get some better torpedo techs. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, it's probably worth it. Okay, let's see if we can break through here. And then link up, uh, link up here. It's not quite as as good as I wanted to of an encirclement, but uh, it would still. I don't think we, we cannot attack two from the north. Uh, there's just no way. There are too many troops here, so we're just gonna have to hold here, and uh, we will get the tanks involved in this push and also this tank division and see if we can make this encirclement happen. We've got two more tank divisions here. Now with the reinforcement, uh, we are going to shorten the front line a little. Here. Uh, can I edit this front line? Okay, I want them to take these five divisions. No, take two, uh, these two provinces and then in return we can shorten if I can manage, uh, edit the front to edit the front line. I don't see. Yeah, this is a little bit awkward. Uh, there we go. Okay, so that that frees up that frees up some divisions in the north here, because I think they have seized their attacks. And if we can, if we can break through, uh, despite not having air superiority, we can break through in the south here. Yeah, they are counter-attacking everywhere now. Uh, we might lose... We might lose Bordeaux, actually. I think we are gonna... We're not gonna hold Bordeaux. We're gonna retreat... Uh, retreat? Why can we not retreat from Bordeaux? Um, maybe we can short... We can expand the front line here a little. Let's see if we can counter-attack here. I uh, just don't want to get the troops cut off, so... Okay, all the tank divisions are now involved in defense, but hopefully... Hopefully we can manage to expand this... Uh, very, very thin line that we're holding here, but hopefully we can expand, uh, expand this. We are running low on supply, so I believe that's about as many tank divisions as we can commit to this right now. And we, uh, they are constantly attacking. I need these tank divisions to actually be on the attack. Uh, unfortunately, that seems not to be happening. Maybe we can relieve them a little. And um, once these counterattacks, they're ceaselessly counterattacking here. Uh, once these counter, uh, once these attacks have somewhat abated, let's see if we can counter them here and expand this a little. Uh, the supply situation here is not great, so uh, this is also a supply hub, but Paris is quite far. So uh, getting to getting this connected here is the is the big the big task that we need to do. Um, how is the? Uh, there's still 28 days. Uh, we've almost taken Ireland, so these troops will become available once they're done taking Ireland. And. We might be able to assist with that push here. Yeah, we're constantly getting counterattacked, and uh, the tanks are in a defensive position, which is not what they're actually good at. We need to connect them here in the north of the river. So that is a smaller encirclement, but if we can manage to pull it off, and I think this is all holding, more naval techs. Yeah, we're, we're researching all the gun techs now at this point. Just uh, getting better, um, better semi armor piercing shells. Just making sure that that's all done. Not that it matters an awful lot against the small ships that we're dealing with, but we may as well. Um, 
No, so the in the this division needs to hold. These divisions need to push. This division needs to not push, but uh, defend. No, stop attacking. Let's see if we can finally manage to break the French here and link up. Uh, we're getting attacked. The Marines are getting attacked by tanks as well, which is un which is less than ideal. Uh, nice potential salient, but I don't think we have the I don't think we have the uh, the way the means to cut them off here. Let's see. We could take the airport in the north. That would be good. Um, support that attack. Okay, I want this division to defend here. Stop moving. <laughs> Okay, finally. So the tank divisions are pushing forward and they might be able to connect. Uh, we're not gonna be able, yeah, they're pushing us back around too as well. So constantly under attack. Uh, this little attack might work. I'm not sure if we get the encirclement here, but uh, yeah. How are my airports? Mm, uh, getting there. Let's see if we can ferry some more uh, where do we have capacity? Um, yeah, the, these these uh, these these fighter wings are uh, are taking these, these are carrier fighters. They're taking terrible, loss, terrifying losses. Uh, we might have to. Yeah, we, we have to um, we have to divert some production into these wings because they are no longer they they are they are technically no longer combat effective. So I'm, I think I'm going to take these wings out honestly. Uh, because they are not uh, they are not going to be able to stand up to the more modern wings. We bring them back to the UK, and uh, the jet fighter wings are probably more effective. And that frees up frees us up to bring uh, bring some additional wings over. So where do we still have fighters? Uh, we are still fighting over Greece, but honestly, there's no fighting. There's no real fighting going on. So there's. There shouldn't be any, there's, no, there's no reason why we should be doing this. Let's, um, since there's no one's fighting right now, uh, that frees up some uh, experienced fighter wings that we can bring over to Calais. And we can bring some more fighters as well. Uh, this is a fighter wing, that's not. So we bring that fighter wing over as well. Uh, Normandy is being built up. So let's move there's three fighter wings that are currently hitting Greece, but these are these are zeros, so there's no good. Uh, these fighter wings, however, which ones are these? Uh, all these. These fighter wings. We bring them over to uh, Normandy. And we'll bring them up in interception as well. Yeah, fighting under um, fighting against the Luftwaffe is difficult if we are not having the airbase capacity to to do so. Okay, let's see if this tank offensive is getting anywhere. We just need to get we just need to get them to move. Uh, I think the tanks here are starting to push the fourth back around too as well. So yeah, we we we'll just we're going to link up around the river. Uh, we're not going to attempt and. Uh, and this offensive has stalled, so let's not do that. Uh, let's just defend here. Uh, are we holding? Yes, we are holding, but barely so. We're barely holding around... Um, why are there only three divisions up here? I'm pretty sure I assigned five divisions of the... Um, so these five divisions are supposed supposed to be on this front line. Where are the others? Oh, the, the, are they still moving in? Are they still moving in? Yeah, you're needed here, um, Sunshine. Okay, that needs to hold. Uh, we are losing around two, but we are pushing. The problem is we are running out of supply. If we can connect here, uh, we need another, we need another mobile division in the south here to do the defense. Um, this might be a bridge too far again. If we can manage, I think we are manage. Yeah, I think we are managing to push. So let's leave one tank division behind. And that looks like we are managing to to cut off the front there. The problem is obviously supply at this point. 
So one tank division behind. Yes, we have linked up. So now we can... Uh, now it's a matter of these troops are not immediately going to be out of supply but we do need to prevent them from reconnecting so let's um, let's start rolling up this flank which is also going to um, and we are going to on the offensive now which is also going to um, are there any supply hubs in this area uh, there's uh, one here that we might be able to take so let's get that attack going and support from here. Uh, this division needs to... no, that's, that's the right one. Okay, uh, join the attack. Join the attack. Okay, we're attacking from all fronts. Everybody else just needs to hold for a second until we connect the supply lines. Um, we are getting pushed back around two. Two is a major is a major point for them so I, th I think we will not be able to hold this so let's uh, let's make sure that we're digging in and uh, we're digging in everybody on the other side and these okay we've split the okay and that's a ma major problem these divisions need to be here on this front line and these three divisions need to be over there okay and we should be holding we should be able to hold here we are currently counter-attacking i don't think that's a great idea uh let's just hold here honestly uh, we, we we're just too exhausted to um too exhausted here to counter-attack but this is a major encirclement and yeah all these troops are now cut off from supply and this is what we were after so as long as we can hold that cauldron we have uh, we have a large number of French troops encircled. Um, we are we are sort of uh, we're sort of holding our own against the Luftwaffe here. Um, the jet fighters are clearly superior to the uh, old Bf 109s and some of the earlier Focke Wolf models that they're flying. But uh, we are struggling in northern France. Our our fighter losses are pretty horrendous. And uh, we will, uh, once the airports are, okay, that airport's now over, that's now over, uh, overstaffed. Uh, although not for long. I think we'll just, uh, we'll just leave that here. So we've got these wings, um, please everybody on interception over. Everybody on in interception over uh, this area. And these fighter wings as well, uh, not training, interception over this area. Okay, what does that look like numerically? Now we've got um, we've got almost 50% of the German uh, the German air, the Luftwaffe in the air. Uh, let's see what it looks like once we take away their um, once we take away their uh, their airports here. Okay, nice little encirclement here. All right, uh, this yeah we will be cleaning this up. And then uh, the then the f this is going to be what do we got? Thirty six German divisions and a whole bunch of other things. <laughs> so probably around about almost fifty divisions here that uh, are going to be destroyed. We'll be landing in Norway, which is going to open yet another front for the Germans to worry about. And uh, we and we will probably. Oh, they are attacking here as well now. Interesting. Yeah, they're trying to get through, but good luck with that. Um, not, not happening. <laughs> Although I have way too many divisions here to, to for that one. I, I, we, we might we might be doing some counter attacks around Greece as well and see if we can expand our if we can expand our holdings there a little bit. And I think yeah, the German divisions are are, are troubled here, in supply wise. I think we can start a. We can start once we've stabilized the front in France a little bit and um, uh, pushed probably uh, along the river lines here. Uh, we uh, we will be able to um, we will hold and then we will be starting starting to push with the tanks here. These are modern tank divisions uh, with the tanks here in in Russia and see if we can. Um, if we can uh, do some major works to cut off the German divisions here that are all seeming to be rather struggling. <laughs> so that's all coming up. 
uh, in the next episode. For, for today, that's it. Uh, look at these naval battles. We are sinking so many convoys. This is all our submarines, just uh, total warring uh, German convoys, and the German submarines are getting sunk uh, or damaged. Yep, are getting sunk uh, here in the Pacific, so uh, their warfare there isn't going to last very long anymore. Anyway, that's it for me today. Thanks, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.